Hey, it's Shelly. Now we're going to take a look at the teleprompter and different ways that we have to be able to record with uh, the different equipment that I've put together. So as you can see here, this is the teleprompter. We've got two long pieces that come up here. This is the glass. And when you've got the teleprompter screen set up, it's actually a computer opened up and the image reflects right off the side of this glass. And because you're filming from this side of the glass, you don't get the reflection. So that way you can see your words. And here we've got lights, ah, bright lights. And I could set these up for what kind of uh, lighting that I need. So now I'm gonna turn this thing around and show you how it's set up. And now you can see the words as they're reflected. This is a computer. And this is the glass. Okay, and as I'm looking into the glass, I can read the words. And they look like they're suspended in air when actually it's just a reflection off the glass because the camera is going to be right here. And that is how this amazing teleprompter works. Okay, so this is how you might work if you were recording via QuickTime, maybe via your webcam that's already hooked up to your computer. So I've got QuickTime open over here, and I would actually just start talking and actually record my video cast. But once again, as you can see up here, there's really no script. If I were to put some type of a script up here, it literally looks like I'm sitting there reading it, and we don't want to do that. There's a very cool product, and it's free and I believe it's at freeprompter.com and let me go ahead and bring this up so you folks can see this. If you go to free prompter it gives you these tools. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So you can see there's a little black window here and it gives me the ability to actually type in my script or copy and paste it and I can choose the foreground, background colors, the size, the width, the height, the font, uh, font size, how it's going to align, etc., etc. And then when I've got my text in here, I simply click on Start, and it gives me this other little window here with my text in it. So I can choose to have it go forward, and I can control the speed on this thing too. So it's pretty neat as far as being able to write a script, and I can stop it. So now, if I were going to use this, I would need some type of a teleprompter to go along with it. So let me show you exactly what I have here. This is the ci to i teleprompter from Bodolin. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and hook it on top of my laptop here. And this is the specific one for laptop with webcam. I'm just going to slide it on top. Okay, there's a little square in here. Let's see if we can zoom in so you can see that. So if I go back to Safari and bring this right up front, I can see my controls right here in the window. So, let's wide angle out. And if I were actually recording this, I'm going to go and set it to a slower pace and go ahead and select forward. Getting creative, how to create a video podcast using QuickTime, iMovie, and your imagination. So you want to get creative. Well, it's a lot easier than you think, etc., etc. And as you can see, my little script is just a scrolling by, and that's free, and it's pretty darn cool. So that is the other way that I create my video cast. The last way, of course, is to capture my desktop with Snaps Pro, and I can capture all my applications that way.